Hey guys, so in today's video I'm going to share with you our transformation of our master bedroom closet. We just finished it. I haven't even put anything in here yet and I'm having a hard time doing it. So if you want to see how this happened, stick around. <laughs> everything is cleared out um, we are doing a whole new system in here so we're not ordering or anything my husband's like designing and building something so we patched all of the holes that we have from the previous thing um, we ordered these type of hooks I'm gonna try to find them they were absolutely amazing but I want to paint and I didn't want to paint around them so the new stuff that we get if I can find the same ones I'll link them below but they're just super simple like adhesive like, hooks and we could hang like his hats right here which was perfect because he has tons of hats um, and I was thinking about putting just like maybe a couple more right here we could hang like jackets or something um, but we're gonna have shelving on both sides of this wall and there's gonna be a continuous shelf hooked for where the closet will be but next thing we're gonna finish we gotta patch the holes one or two times well at least two times so we're gonna do that and then once that's done I'm going to wipe everything down and then we'll paint and we're only going to use paint that we already have so that we don't have to spend extra money. We bought the wood. I'll share that whole experience of us, you know, laying it all out and staining it and stuff and then putting it back together. Hey guys, so welcome to day two of painting. So we are going to start painting. I tested out two different colors that I had in my basement. So the paint is not going to cost us anything because we're using what we already have, so that's going to save us some money. Um, so we're going to do an accent wall right here. It's hard to see because of the lighting. This is going to be the same accent color as our bedroom, which is a green color. Right here. Super dark green. Um, and then the third color <laughs> that I got is, or I tested out, is this color. It is linen white so we have we have tons of color in our house already so I just went through our store of paint and I tested out two yesterday this was one of them uh, this is a I think this is the living room color and once I put it up here I did it in two spots I realized that once we did this this pulls a really like blue like it almost looks gray in the camera but when you look at it it has like a blue tone to it and then I tested a color right here which is actually the same color as the room and so that pulls more of like a a yellowy it's called sand cloth so it's more of like a sandy color so it's has some browns and yellows in it and I just am not a fan of that so I went I stopped painting because I was getting really frustrated because I had to go down to the basement, two floors, dig through all of our paint and test these out and I had to clean up the mess, wash the brush, clean up the mess, wash the brush. So I found this one. So we're gonna, I'm pretty sure this one will be fine. I think I'm gonna have to leave it as is. So we're gonna paint today. Um, I'm gonna do the two side walls first because I only bought, oh, I only bought one trim brush and two rollers. Um, and I want to do the lighter color first because I didn't want the green um, getting stuck in here. And then I didn't wash it out all the way and get it on the walls. So anyway, long story short, we're painting today. I'm not going to show so much of it because painting is painting no matter what. Um, I don't tape anything. Once you learn how to trim out an area, 
it's super easy and quick so I just trim it with an angled brush my dad is a painter a professional painter and he works at a paint store so I've watched him do it many a times um, so you definitely want a large there this is a two inch I should have gotten a three inch and I wish it was the longer handle I didn't realize this but you want the longer handle probably a three inch um, and it makes it easier to push down into the corners and paint so um, biggest tip is to learn how to trim out and you won't have to waste money and time painting your entire room so or taping your entire room anyway so I'm gonna get this all set up and get trimming all right quick update <laughs> Oh, the trim work is done. Um, you can see the difference. This is much darker than this. The color is not the same, but um, this is much brighter. There's like no air circulating in here, but um, it looks great. So I only have to do is do a second coat of paint. But I'm going to go ahead and start trimming out the green right there. And then we'll be done in a couple hours. My cat is obsessed with being in here. I try to keep her out of here, but anywho, so we're gonna get finished on the green. All right, so we've got the two sidewalls done and here's all my mess. This is one coat, two or three coats of trim, I can't remember. Um, what I do to save for cleanup is I use a trash bag for my bags or for painting, so I put the paint and everything in here. I roll it like I normally would, and now that I'm waiting, I just sit this in here, and I flip it over, and I wrap it around the roller so it doesn't dry, and then you just touch any paint, you know, with plastic, so that it doesn't dry or get any um, pieces on it, like clumps, but I'm a very messy painter. Um, once you're done, then you just take it all out, you pull the um, roller off, and then throw it in the trash. Then you don't have to worry about cleaning this up. But we're getting there. It's going to look so good. Okay, so I'm going to start staining the shelving. So this is one of the highest, you know, the biggest priced items of the whole thing. That's because we are doing custom shelving. So because our closet is kind of, you know, oddly shaped. So we bought all the wood and then my husband cut it down. I wanted to show all the wood before, but he cut it while I was gone. So I'm going to stain it all myself. So we bought the Espresso um, Min Wax stain. And then this is what we are using to hang them up because we are putting it through the drywall. We normally use, or he normally uses like the drywall, the plastic inserts, but they came right out. So this is like a metal um, thing that like springs open once you put it in. So we're hoping this will do better since it holds 238 pounds. <laughs> When our kids hang on it it won't do that so this was close to like 250 maybe a little bit more for all of this but if you are doing you know your own shelves you can order shelves you can get systems that are already made and probably a lot cheaper wood is really expensive right now so that's why it costs way you know higher up there and these were not cheap I want to say these were like $15 a box I can't remember I don't know where the receipt is, but they weren't cheap and we had to get two boxes because we needed like a little over 30, which kind of sucks, but it is what it is. So I'm going to stain these. Um, I don't have that much room, but I'm going to try to stain as much as I can and then we'll be able to put them up in a couple days.
guys it is all done this is like my new absolute favorite place to be <laughs> i don't want to put anything back in here because it's so like new and pretty <laughs> but that will be another video but i'm going to share with you how we did it and what we did and what we used and i'll put all the links that i can find in the description but i'm going to share with you what we have so far okay so we have um all the wood and the pole they all came from lowe's the stain is um from lowe's it is the espresso um if you do home depot home depot and lowe's have an espresso i can't remember the name brands but each espresso is actually a different color because we tested it out so we did choose the lowe's brand these brackets are from amazon they come in a three pack and then um which i will link below all the like decorative kind of things that's all from Target and Hobby Lobby. Not Target, TJ Maxx, sorry. Um, these brackets, um, we were gonna order some on Amazon, but we needed so many. My husband was actually able to design these and make these at work, but I will link the ones that we were gonna get that are very similar to these. Um, this is a custom closet, so my husband designed it based off of you know our needs and the size of our closet. Um, and then they were like a grayish color like metal is and then my friend um, powder coated them for us so we have those um, but yeah like it's my new favorite place <laughs> like I don't even know what I'm gonna put here but I don't know if it's gonna be much because it just looks so nice the only thing that we're gonna do different is put a little bracket right in between the two shelves to kind of like hold them together but we did use these which normally we, my husband uses like the drywall ones i'm pretty sure you know if you put heavy things in you know what those are but these are called um toggle bots they were at lowe's i can't take this sticker off sorry it will peel the whole thing off but i will try to find these at lowe's and um link them as well but it can hold up to 338 pounds in drywall so that is a lot so it's hard to explain because we don't this is an empty box here it is so it has like this little metal piece and i showed it in the video but you stick it into the drywall and it opens up and then you like wiggle this thing off and it snaps off and then it's flat and you just put your screw in and it comes with the little plastic pieces and the screws so we use those to put in everything so that it is um, very sturdy <laughs> like we could sit on it and it wouldn't come off um, but we won't be doing that these are a repurchase so I, we had these before um, just like a different shape um, and I, these I just stained the same color so that it would all match uh, these are really great I have some in both the kids rooms and in here for um, Matt's hats so they're just like sticky and they're not so I don't know if you can see yeah it did this is the old one so I wanted to, he placed these on here he placed them in the wrong spot but this is where the old one was um and so when you do take them off they will mess up your like drywall so I had to patch it and repaint it but these like unscrew off and so I just stained them and we put them on there my husband's not putting up his white hats yet because he doesn't this it's these are a little tacky we did those two days ago so he doesn't want to stain his hats but this is like such a great idea if you're looking for a way to like you know save space in a closet or anywhere the kids have them lower in their room for their jackets and book bags so they're perfect so I'll link those below but that's it it's like the best oh and the paint color i will link that when i'll put the name of the paint color in the description it looks blue in the camera but it is a green color so it's gonna be hard to <laughs> tell what it is but you'll be able to look it up if you're interested but yeah that's it the only thing that we need to do is stain or paint this door we haven't decided yet but it is still cold outside and this is our attic space and so it is really cold in there so when we, if we took the doors off it would just make the whole upstairs cold so we're just going to leave them on until it warms up a little bit and then of course we're going to put um doorknobs on here so we can open it easier um normally we just pull it from the bottom but that's it so now i'm going to oh goodness fill it back up but i think i'm going to try to limit things to what we put in here so that it just stays looking nice but anyway so so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to share it with your husband or your spouse or anybody else that might need to do a closet makeover because 
this was amazing like this makes this just fills my heart <laughs> like I just want to walk by it every day and look at it but now I have to fill it and it probably won't look as pretty but it looks great right now so anyway so I hope you guys enjoyed if you did give it a thumbs up and we'll see you guys next time bye guys